Chancellor, members of the corporation, distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to have this opportunity to welcome everyone to this, the first of today's three awards congregations. All of the staff here at University College Birmingham look forward to these events, but I suspect that our students even more keenly look forward to this day. It is a time of celebration, the hard work of our students is finally being rewarded. But it is also an important life event, often signifying some vital change. The three ceremonies we hold today will see over 1,200 students cross this stage to the applause of over 6,000 guests, as you share in the joy of your daughters, sons, husbands, wives and friends. We welcome in particular the many family members and friends of our graduates. We understand today this is also a very special one for you. We, and I'm sure our students, recognise the important part you have played in their success and we do hope that you enjoy this special day. We welcome also once again David and Angela Pargeter and Ruth Pargeter down here to witness the presentation of the Eddie Pargeter Memorial Award and Tim Bettridge and Helen's close friends who are here to witness the presentation of the Helen Betridge Memorial Award later on in the proceedings. We are also joined today by many representatives of the employers and industries that have helped to develop our programmes, ensuring their continued relevance to the industries they serve. These industry representatives serve in our governing body and our industrial liaison committees. They offer advice on course development and sponsorship for many of our facilities. From the point of view of our students, industry support is even more important in terms of providing placement opportunities, and most importantly of all, jobs for our graduates and diplomats upon graduation. I offer a warm welcome and the grateful thanks of the University for their continuing support. I also welcome our colleagues from the University of Birmingham, and in particular the Pro Vice-Chancellor of the University, Professor Armour who is conferring degrees of the university at this congregation. Last but not least, we extend a special welcome to our diplomats and graduates. This morning, you can give yourselves a pat on the back for a job well done, and when you walk across this stage to receive your awards, you can also soak up the tremendous sense of pride of your families, friends, and tutors for what you have achieved. Today for you all, one chapter closes and another begins. For some of you, further study beckons. For others, the world of work. Whatever your future holds, make the most of today and make it as an occasion that you, your families and friends will always remember. Once again, welcome and congratulations on your success. So, on with the congregation. I now call upon the Chancellor to address the congregation. Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellor, fellow governing body members, staff, guests, families and friends, and finally but most importantly, graduates. Congratulations to you on your achievement and welcome to this very special day for you and those around you. It's a really strange word that, graduate someone who's about to be presented for a degree. And in just a few minutes, you will be officially graduates. And not so long after that, you'll be free to enjoy Broad Street, perhaps for the very last time. And I can tell you that's when you'll realise just how significant today is. So, welcome to the Symphony Hall. Uh, if I could offer a special welcome to those up on the fifth floor uh, watching on the large screen TV. Fantastic audience today, and it is such a delight to see you all here. I rarely get to see the view from, from where you're sitting, 
but perhaps I can put that into context for you. I'm the university's chancellor, which is an honorary role. In the centre of the stage, our vice chancellor and principal, Professor Linforth, and representing the University of Bur uh, Birmingham, uh, Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Armour, and their role today is to stand stage centre to greet you and to confer your degree award. Immediately behind them are our university executive managers and deans, some of my fellow governors, and behind them, representatives of the university staff. And of course, above and behind us all is our organist, Sean, who does such a fantastic job helping to create a true sense of occasion. Now, when you're presented for your degree, we are going to be sitting on the stage politely applauding. But at this point, if I may point out, there is no requirement for you to applaud politely. If you want to shout, if you want to scream, if you want to raise your hats, give your fellow graduates all the support you possibly can, and they in turn will support you. If you can't raise the roof today, then when can you? As I say, I don't get to see your view very often, and unfortunately you don't get the, the opportunity to appreciate the view from where we are. And it really is absolutely awesome. So if you'll bear with me, I'd like to just take a couple of snapshots. And I'm going to put them up on Twitter a little bit later on, <laughs> under the hashtag UCB graduation. And I hope you're going to enjoy those. But I'd absolutely love it if through the course of your day, you take some photos and also put them up on Twitter under the hashtag UCB graduation and let's all of us share in your special day. So, let me just sort this out. I'm not very good at this, so you've got to have to bear with me. I press that button, I press that button. Okay, we're away. Smile, please. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you scrub up well. <laughs> okay. Let's have a little over this side. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Now, nobody could suggest that this has been anything but a very difficult year in higher education. The Brexit vote last June has unsurprisingly had a marked impact on EU student numbers. And we will unquestionably all be poorer for that in so many ways. It was followed by a questioning of the value of expertise, the legitimacy of student fees and student debt levels, salaries and value for money. At UCB, I believe that we foresaw elements of those debates when we made a determination that if the cost to students was to increase, we should meet that rise with a significant investment in the fabric of the university estate to ensure that our students benefit from the very best facilities. Phase one of that commitment to students came with the opening of McIntyre House, and I hope many of you here today will have both enjoyed and benefited from its exceptional facilities. A more challenging scenario this year was whether to commit some £40 million on a second phase development at a time when there was, and indeed is, a very real risk that our income will fall. I'm delighted to say that we have made that commitment. We are determined to provide excellence for our students and our phase two development will open for business in two years' time. In tandem with this, we've entered into even closer collaboration with our valued friends at the University of Birmingham, which we both believe will deliver even greater benefits to our students in the medium to long term. 
We know that the short term is going to be tough. Our silver grading under the Teaching Excellence Framework sets us a natural target to achieve gold next time. And that's a challenge the staff have willingly accepted. Our latest student numbers are excellent and bucking national trends. The future is perhaps brighter than we might have thought uh, on a personal level. And I'm especially delighted by the development of our apprenticeship programmes. There's something I feel very close to my heart, having started in the catering industry where apprenticeships way back four or five decades ago <coughs> were commonplace. Nearly 20 years ago, a family friend of mine came to UCB to study a travel and tourism programme. And after a varied career, including using the language skills she acquired on that course to work in Spain for a decade, she launched an exclusive online wedding boutique business just this week. And the reason I mention it is that because the very first thought that came to my head was how much she might have benefited from one of the business school's apprenticeships. And what a difference those will make to students in the future. Whatever our future holds and wherever it may take you, I hope you'll come back with fond memories of your time at UCB and in our wonderful city. I appreciate it's not at the top of every student's list, but I hope some of you might have enjoyed some of our fabulous fine dining establishments and not just to work there. As befitting the UK second city, we have more Michelin star restaurants than anywhere outside London. But if you haven't been to those, I really do hope that you've sampled some of the amazing street food from places like the Digbeth Dining Club or the Indian Brewery. And please don't leave us without sampling the delights of Ladypool Road and discover Birmingham's greatest invention, the Baltic. And of course you've travelled the length of Broad Street and I hope you've shot till you've dropped at the Bull Ring and you've been to Cadbury World and you've visited our parks and world-class museums and galleries. You can't leave Birmingham without a trip to our new wedding cake library next door, or taking in the theatre, an exhibition at the NEC, or a concert in one of our world-class music venues. It's a truly wonderful city, one that's constantly reinventing itself, one that welcomes you, and one that wherever you will go, always welcomes you back. Do spread the word. I'll leave you with one quotation. It popped up on social media the other day, and I thought it was just perfect for the occasion. And it wasn't from one of the great and good, it was from a young lady whose name was Nadia Hussein, and I don't know if you remember her, a couple of years ago, uh, she won the Great British Bake Off. And since then, she seems to have been on television every day. But when she was receiving a prize, and after the obligatory tears. She said, I'm never going to put boundaries on myself again. I'm never going to say I can't do it. I'm never going to say maybe. I'm never going to say I don't think I can. I'm going to say I can and I will. This is your day, this is your family's day. Make it special, share it with us, hashtag UCB graduation. Take care. <laughs> Chancellor, members of the corporation, distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. On occasion, the corporation considers awarding an honorary fellowship of the university. This honour is awarded to those individuals who have rendered important services to UCB over a sustained period 
and have been members of or closely associated with the university. In this ceremony, we will be conferring one honorary fellowship. It gives me great pleasure to read the citation for the conferment of an honorary fellowship on Kevin Broom. Kevin joined what was then Birmingham College of Food and Domestic Arts as a senior technician in the Department of Applied Science and Food Technology in December 1984. At that time, Kevin was also an active union safety representative for the trade union NALGO and chairman of their trade union education committee, showing a commitment to learning from early in his career. His reference from Sandwell Council at the time noted, as the local union representative for technicians, Mr. Broom has involved himself with the problems of other institutions and in negotiation with the local authority. This he had done with much vigour and he is prepared to argue strongly for what he believes to be right. Skills that would definitely stand him in good stead over the many roles and challenges that lay ahead for him in his next 32 years at UCB. We think that we must have upset Kevin around 1990, as several reference requests are noted on his file. We are, however, very pleased to report that Kevin had two failed attempts to leave us, one for Coventry Polytechnic and one for Matthew Bolton College in 1990. Their loss was definitely our gain. Kevin, a keen scientist and a holder of a biological and geology degree, also undertook part-time teaching duties while undertaking his technician duties at the college, and he had an excellent rapport with his students. In 1994, Kevin became the technical services manager and took an ever-increasing interest in health and safety matters and qualifications, becoming a key part of the health and safety committee and the lead for all safety-related matters. He would go on to gain a master's degree in occupational health, safety and the environment from the University of Birmingham, in addition to the highest level of health and safety professional qualifications. He also achieved a master's degree in education. His knowledge and advice were of the highest order, ensuring safe operating environments for all our students and staff, a responsibility he took very seriously. I need to tell you now that after some 14 years after his first attempts, Kevin yet again tried to escape UCB in December of 2004, this time to the University of Warwick. In the Vice-Chancellor's reference at that time, he quoted, I would most definitely re-employ him, and to be completely honest, I will do my utmost to retain him if he is successful in his application. As he had become such an important senior part of the College of States and Safety Operations, I'm again real delighted to report that Kevin didn't manage to escape. We're sorry about that, Kevin. One theory amongst Kevin's colleagues is that he didn't get those jobs because they couldn't read his handwriting. Maybe he really ought to have been applying for a GP role. I also noted that the Vice-Chancellor's comment in that reference. Kevin Broom is a gentleman for whom I have the highest regard. He has proved to be an able, hard-working, conscientious and loyal colleague. If he is successful in his application, it would be very difficult for us to replace him. These words stood true until Kevin finally did manage to escape, but not until the end of 2016 when he decided to retire. So we did manage to get another 12 years of service out of him. He became Deputy Director of Estates in 2005 and continued to lead all our health and safety activities. He made a tremendous contribution to the development of the University Estate for a period of time becoming the acting director of estates, leaving us with truly wonderful teaching and learning facilities across our campus. Kevin finally did manage to get free in December of last year. He's a very devoted family man who loves nothing more than to spend time with his wife and children. He is particularly proud of his children's university achievements, so it is fitting that he is getting recognised today by the university. He very much deserved to retire and enjoy that family time, together with his many diverse hobbies and interests after 32 years' service to the university. Kevin is very much a gentleman with a great sense of humour, missed by colleagues on a daily basis throughout the university. 
all of whom very much cherished him as their friend, colleague, mentor and advisor. Ladies and gentlemen, on the grounds of sustained and outstanding services to UCB, it is my great pleasure to commend Kevin Broom to you for the conferment of an Honorary Fellow of the University. By the authority vested in me as Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I declare you Honorary Fellow, I congratulate you and I welcome you amongst us. Professor Armour, I call upon the Pro Vice-Chancellor, Professor Danielle Carey, to present to you the first group of University of Birmingham award holders. Professor Armour, to you and to the University, I present the names of these graduates as listed in my programme, both in attendance and in absentia, proved worthy to be admitted to their respective degrees. By virtue of my authority as Pro Vice-Chancellor, I admit those persons listed in the programme to the degree for which they are to be presented. FDA Business Enterprise. Selena Nayasha Bolta. Beatrice Chida. Diane Clements from Makina. Ryan Graham. Umar Kayani. Tajul Islam Khan. Arisha Masood. Abdullahi Rubel. Sabina Shahid. Nigat Taslim. BA Business Enterprise. Ikon Konkoi Bakonga. Jesse Provençal. BA Honours Business Enterprise. Anissa Ulhaq. Marin Abramak. <laughs> Josim Ahmed, first class. <laughs> Saima Akbar. <laughs> Sonia Akhtar. <laughs> Faisal Ali, first class. <laughs> Nikta Ben Barot. Harry Bevan. <laughs> Maria Bibi. <laughs> Riona Agatha Blackwood, first class. <laughs> Kia Bradshaw, first class. <laughs> Siobhan Bruce, first class. <laughs> Jonathan Bryden, first class. Aneta Bubliauskite, first class. <laughs> Tia Kai. <laughs> Martin Chan, first class. <laughs> Mary Copsey, first class. <laughs> Theo Kuso. Sara de, Le Sara de Leon Rodriguez, first class. <laughs> Savannah de Paz. 
Janika Ellen, first class. <laughs> Chloe Flores. Charlene Freuder, first class. Azara Garcia. Sally Matagasama, first class. David Gondalez Garcia. Mitchell Goodfellow, first class. Shuyi He, first class. Jason Huang, first class. Alpha Jalo, first class. Bianca Johnson. Manuel Cancel. Harpreet Kaur. Taranpreet Singh Kanuja, first class. Chelsea Kirk. Andrea Maria Lancia, first class. Wei-In Lau, first class. Wen Yi Li, first class. Patricia Lopez Cardenas. Octavie Lopuso, first class. Shanaz Rima Ludhi. Ophelia Ebony Chanel Maduri, first class. Muhammad Majid Mahmood, first class. Banasira Malanon, first class. Katarina Matisikova, first class. Amy McLeod, first class. Rewez Mohammed. Perpetua Mundavanho. Bernadette Murphy, first class. Bernice Ng. Usama Rahim Niazi, first class. Adama Inji. Dita Nova, first class. Kiang Peng. Andrea Pavolna, first class. Win Yi Pung, first class. Nadira Kei. Xiao Wan. Stephen Tugume Sabiti. Odessa Sanderson Gillard. Patricia Santana Falcon, first class. Martin Sevels. Muhammad Awes Sheikh. Nadia Sureya Comrade Silva. Satnam Singh. Dominic Sladek. Tori Smith. Eslin Sullivan Suarez, first class. Obed Kaleem Sayed. Sonata Bossam. Sonia Taj. Xi <laughs> Ying Tan. Davina Thandi, first class. Alvin Tayaji, first class. 
Tian Turk. Ana Desire Vega Suarez, first class. Fiona Vione. Ryan Wainwright. Muhammad Raja Wasim. James Wheeler. Janelle Wright, first class. Yang Zhang. Anna Nui. Lei Zhu. BA Honours Business Enterprise, Hong Kong Block. Wei Yi Chan. Ko Lam Lee. Si Ngan So, first class. Siu Yin Sandra Wong. Ming Chiong Yin, first class. Create honest digital marketing. Enrique Domingo Bello Brito. <laughs> Cristina Benitez Roma, first class. <laughs> Louis Benitez Velasquez. <laughs> Rubin Chen. <laughs> Kiana Daniel, first class. <laughs> Coloma Sofia Estives Pinto, first class. Elise Godfrey, first class. <laughs> Nadia Leticia Gonzalez Garcia. <laughs> Victoria Helis, first class. Ambreen <laughs> Hussein. <laughs> Mariela Ingrassi. <laughs> Kenneth Kaimba. Amy King Sharp, first class. <laughs> Lai Yi Li, first class. <laughs> Yi Han Belinda Lee. <laughs> Ana Cristina Lopez Lopez, first class. <laughs> Alice Matthew, first class. Pornapus Nakakan Oksate. Mame Esa Ndoye. Jean Baptiste Neonda. Aisha Udud. Laura Pearson, first class. Simon Prague. Emily Grace Ricketts. Alba Rodriguez Lopez. Guled Rubel. Kelly Sambatari, first class. Joshua Silverton, first class. Ritsada Somnet. Chia Hao Teng. Daniel Turan, first class. Melissa Vaghela, first class. Abigail Wilson, first class. Certificate in Higher Education, Marketing Management. Daniel Mears. BA Honours, Marketing Management. Adil Akhtar, First Class. <laughs> Alice Victoria May Andrew. Sarah Bowler. 
Yurema Kaitona. Davinia Campbell, first class. Rania El Haj Modi. Muhammad Fanui. Malorigo Ngonda, first class. Chu Yen Go, first class. Amara Gordon, first class. Muhammad Habib. Siti Harisa Haji Amin. Madia Kosar, first class. Madison Mariana Lahai Bunduka. Chunning Chris Lam. Johan bin Muhammad Daniel Lokman. Mikhail Patel. Rahim Suleiman. Sean Tamana. Chi Wu. PA Orders Marketing Management with Placement. Amelia O'Hanlon, first class. PA Orders Marketing Management, Hong Kong Block. Wing Shan Chan, first class. Chu Big Sami Chow. FDA Marketing with Events Management. Rebecca Bramall. PA Honours Marketing with Events Management. Elena Adams, First Class. Abraham Inkontoy. Kimberly Nicole Banfield. Leila Dania Binti Mik Arif Azmi. Dani Wen Yo Cha. Kai Yuan Chen. Selena Tan Daniel Tan. Leticia Hall. Georgia Harper Nunes. Iveta Vasilanova Karisanova. Sandra Lukonko. Xin Ying Lim. Christina Nedvedova, first class. Merin Yeralova, first class. Maria Romano Nikolai. Monica Palikova, first class. Sigiti Pajambit. Siobhan Roche, first class. Helena Turbo, first class. Darren C. Tian Wong. Nurain Suraya Binti Zulkifi. First class. Postgraduate Diploma Marketing Management for Events, Hospitality and Tourism. Sadia Ahmed with distinction. Kitakan Banhasrat. Amanda Jane Dixon with distinction. Edson Dos Santos Daluz. Ilignan Ernest Gomanje. Dolores Sabrina Grant with distinction. Yiran Lee. Ying Fei Mao. Sanya Markovic. 
Yi Ki Kian. Aisha Rafi with distinction. Yun Chian Shang. Wailing Wendy Tang with distinction. Wang Ki Wang. Ching Zhao. Han Bing Zhu. Professor Armour, this completes the presentation of the first group of University of Birmingham diplomates and graduates. This year, for the first time, we are also celebrating excellence in teaching as judged by you, the students, through our Spotlight on Great Teaching Awards. Students were asked to nominate staff against the following criteria. For lecturers who light up a subject with passion, energy and insight, use unusual and engaging methods of lesson delivery, make students feel challenged but supported, give useful and timely feedback and keep students on track, have a positive approach and are accessible, make students want to learn more, and use teaching methods that require students to learn actively and cooperatively. We received over 300 nominations from students and the winners were selected by a cross-university panel that included representation from the Guild of Students. I'm delighted that we have two members of staff here this morning who were selected as winners of the award. Vice Chancellor and Principal, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the recipient of the UCB Spotlight on Great Teaching Awards. Lecturer in Business and Enterprise Management, Afi Agaboda. <laughs> people who voted are sat at the back. <laughs> Lecturer in Sports Therapy, Stephen Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, we now turn to the presentation of our Memorial Award winners. These award winners ordinarily might not have gained the highest grades on their programmes. They may not necessarily be the ones who stand out from the crowd. They are students who, in the opinion of their tutors, deserve special mention. Some have made a significant contribution to the life of the university. Others have had to overcome major obstacles to study. A number have shown sustained endeavour, while some have managed that elusive juggling act of combining study with work and family commitments. In this ceremony, we have two categories, the first of which is the Eddie Pargeter Memorial Award. Eddie was the leader of all our business and marketing programmes and a gifted economist. He was someone who epitomised the college's motto of service before self. He always had time for everyone and gave huge respect from students and colleagues alike. When Eddie was diagnosed with leukaemia, he continued his selfless support for other people. He joked with many about the disease and its treatment, but after an all too brief battle, Eddie died in 2008 at the all too young age of 40. Eddie is very much missed by those students and staff who knew him. And establishing an award in his name seemed an appropriate way for the university to show its respect and keep the memory of this talented man alive. Eddie's parents are here with us today to witness the presentation of this year's award. I would like to introduce to you the recipient of the Eddie Pargeter Memorial Award, Bernadette Murphy. Having left 
left secondary school with no formal academic qualifications and having been out of the education system for 21 years, Bernie enrolled on and successfully completed an access to higher education programme. In February 2014, Bernie then enrolled at UCB on the foundation degree in business enterprise. Having successfully completed this course, Bernie then progressed onto the final year of the BA Honours Business Enterprise Programme in February 2016. When the business school lecturing staff first came across Bernie, they were all struck by how little confidence she had in her own ability. Whilst extremely pleasant and conscientious, Bernie was, nonetheless, incredibly insecure and riddled with self-doubt about her academic performance. Despite these anxieties, Bernie was determined to produce work that she could be proud of, and as such, she was in constant contact with her lecturers, year managers, and various support staff, seeking reassurance that she was on the right lines. At the same time as dealing with her own insecurities and challenges regarding her studies, Bernie was also juggling the demands of being a mother. Bernie has six, that's six children, ranging in age from adults through to teenagers and primary age. And I think some of them are here this morning. <laughs> Obviously, a large family brings its own set of immense demands, not least the limited time available to undertake the necessary coursework and assignments. These family commitments and time constraints regularly required Bernie to work on her studies late into and throughout the night. Never once did she complain about this or ask for any exceptions to be made for her. In addition, Bernie was also a carer for her mother who suffered significant health issues that would sporadically and without warning deteriorate. In the final semester of her studies, on top of this, Bernie's mother was diagnosed with cancer. Thankfully, her mother is now responding well to treatment and the outlook looks positive. Despite all of these personal challenges, Bernie encountered, not only did she complete the BA Honours Business Enterprise Programme, but she has achieved and has been awarded a first class honours degree. following be read out on her behalf. So how did I do it? I honestly have no idea. I just know once that first assignment was graded, I was not giving up. I cannot tell you what gaining the degree has done for my confidence. To be nominated and then awarded for the Eddie Pardisher Award has left me feeling so completely honoured. I would like to thank all the amazing staff at UCB for supporting me. I know I could not have done this without you all. You have given me so much more than a degree. You have given me the self-belief and confidence to believe I can do what I set my mind to. I am delighted then, Vice Chancellor and Principal, to present to you Bernadette Murphy for an Eddie Pardieter Memorial Award on the grounds of overcoming obstacles to study. Memorial Award. Helen was a much loved and greatly respected colleague and the leader for hairdressing and beauty therapy programs until seven years ago. Helen was diagnosed with motor neurone disease but faced what she knew was a terminal illness with tremendous courage and fortitude. Inspirational is a word that is often misused but not in Helen's case. Despite everything she was always cheerful and never appeared to feel sorry for herself. Those who knew and worked with her were truly amazed by her great courage and it was for that reason that this award was established. This morning, Helen's husband Tim and some of her closest friends are here to witness the presentation of the award. I would like to introduce to you the recipient of the Helen Betridge Memorial Award, Sophia Sadiq. Sophia did 
didn't enjoy school. She was subject to bullying and became disengaged in class. Although she still attended, she left school without any GCSEs at the age of 16. By chance, she came across a four-week makeup course just after leaving school, which was set up and run by the Prince's Trust. This is where Sophia's passion was ignited. She loved every minute of it and passed the certificate. Realising what she wanted to do now, she decided to apply for a college course and was accepted onto a level three theatrical and media makeup programme, which she passed with flying colours. With a real taste for the subject and having been grateful for a second chance in education, she decided to pursue an undergraduate programme and chose to do so at UCB, studying the foundation degree in specialist hair and media makeup, which she started in 2013. Sophia was thrilled to be offered a place at UCB and decided to give it her all. She settled into Birmingham and completed her first year of study. Coming back into her second year, however, she fell pregnant and decided to defer the year to concentrate on her son. Having a young child to care for and living in Manchester, Sophia looked at transferring to a different university closer to home so that she could continue her studies. However, Sophia knew that she belonged at UCB, having been supported in her first year and building a strong rapport and relationships with her lecturers. So she made the decision to move to London, where she had family to help and support her, and to commute to Birmingham in order to finish her programme. Sophia not only juggled the commute to and from London each day, but also had some personal health issues which were ongoing throughout that first semester back, which caused her stress and anxiety. This would not stop her, however. Highly motivated, she achieved an excellent attendance record, was always punctual to class and engaged fully in all of her subjects. The results speak for themselves. She passed her foundation degree with excellent grades, in particular for a period hair and makeup and advanced prosthetics and casting. She feels so grateful to have been given a second chance in education and has thrived at the support that she has been offered at UCB. Sophia isn't stopping there, however, and she's now undertaking a top-up year and hopes to achieve her BA Honours in Specialist Hair and Media Makeup. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, in recognition of overcoming obstacles to study, I would like to present to you Sophia Sadiq for receipt of a Helen Bettridge Memorial Award. presentation of the Memorial Awards. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I call upon the Pro Vice-Chancellor, Professor Danielle Carey, to present to you the first group of UCB award holders. Vice-Chancellor and Principal, I present the names of the diplomats and graduands as listed in the programme, both in attendance and in absentia, proved worthy to be admitted to their respective degrees. Certificate in Higher Education, Beauty Therapy Management. Uh, BA Business Administration, Harmit Kaur Kaha. <laughs> Certificate in Higher Education, Beauty Therapy Management. <laughs> Havana Mohimani. Claudia Regina Sentio de Espirito Santo. Rosana Andrea Sentio de Espirito Santo. Zakia Hussein. Yeah. FTA Beauty Therapy Management, Angeliki Macrozanari. <laughs> Hayley Meredith. <laughs> Naomi Salim. Bushra Sheikh, Anissa Wazim, PA Honours Beauty Therapy Management, Lauren Michelle Ballard, First Class, Alexandra Gandhi, First Class, Catherine Elizabeth Coleman. Clarissa Este. 
Zoe Louise Farmer, first class. Lauren Ford. Ashley Melissa Gallen, first class. Afia Garung. Claire Hall. Angela Mayamba Yeo. Tammy Lee. Charlie Roberts. Mehdi Smith. FDA Spa Management. Georgia Louise Bonner. Jodie Kathleen Cripps. Daria Violet. Kalina Hoston. Natasha Jones. Sandeep Kaur. Indira Sharma. Avelina Sachevich. BA Honours Spa Management. Iona Maria Fafria. Shauna Foster. Lawrence Stephanie Johnson. Syra Khan. Kirsty Ann Leonard, first class. Yana Slesinik Viktorova. Diploma in higher education, specialist hair and media makeup. Leah Hutton, diploma specialist hair and media makeup. Goda Ziegit. Foundation degree, specialist hair and media makeup. Aisha Badley. <laughs> Nadia Bagan. Shaquilla Beebe. Katie Jane Brown. Julie Lily Burge. Melanie Campbell. Christy Alexandra Conway. Iona Margaret Donaldson. Tanika Douglas. Kelly Dowell. Christina Ilya. Chloe Evans. Jessica Finn. Alvina Gaffar, Emma Marie Granger, Shazina Khan, Natasha Lamb, Nadia Alexander Greenaway. Molly Lees. <laughs> Chloe Lewis. <laughs> Natasha Lucas. <laughs> Michaela Rachel Marriott. <laughs> Rukia Nars. Anna Javid. <laughs> Shanice Nelson. <laughs> Ravina Natasha Patel. <laughs> Terry J. Railton. <laughs> Megan Shulver. 
Safiya Sadiq. Libby Strong. Laura Waller. Lucianne Woolrich. The A Honours Specialist Hair and Media Makeup. Ella Abigail. Poppy Anderson, First Class. Alexandra Aikborn. Sean Ball, First Class. Samantha Barrows. Amy Laura Belfon. Louise Berry. Katie Billings. Nina Ellen Bingham Byford. Courtney Bland, First Class. Charlotte Jessica Bloxham. Georgia Booth. Abby Boa. Rebecca Bradford. Lucy Brooke. Catherine Brunt. Alicia Kim Burton, first class. Lauren Carolan. Laura Hope Chadwick. Megan Cheshire. Charlotte Clutterbuck. Sarah Collett. Emma Louise Jacqueline Cook. Emily Coburn. Taylor Jade Cowley. Marie Dancer, first class. Sean Day, first class. Jade Dempsey. Megan Dickinson. Robin Eliza Dickinson. Jodie Evans. Helen Nicole Fisher. Megan Diane Foster. Kira Gallagher, first class. Charlotte Sheila Gates. Robin Gilder, first class. Victoria Ann Gould, first class. Kiri Gwillem Keaton, first class. Rebecca Hall, first class. Lucinda Hicken. Laura Elizabeth Hill. Beth and Hyde, first class. Deanna Louise Jackson. Rebecca John, first class. Helena Jones, first class. <laughs> Megan Kirby, first class. Jasmine Kirk. Cooley Class. Atlanta Lads Morton. Natalie Lathan. Louise Little. Nancy Lloyd, first class. Alicia Lobley. Valentina Longinos. Emilia Ann Lorraine, first class. 
Joanne Catherine Maynon. <laughs> Stefania Molinari. <laughs> Monica Lucia Montalvo Sembrano, first class. <laughs> Kavita Mudar, first class. <laughs> Inyong Naomi Noda. <laughs> Shauna Lynn Norton. Charlotte O'Connor, first class. <laughs> Kira Siobhan Owen. <laughs> Gemma Perth. <laughs> Heather Lee Parry. <laughs> Francesca Pavley, first class. <laughs> Elizabeth Peters. Amy Powell. Amy Jane Purdue. Zoe Quinn. Sophie Rafferty. Imani Ramsey Bashoran. Samantha Rawlins. Ms. Barraza, Paige Elizabeth Rinaldi, first class, Louisa Scanlon, Georgina Marie Sharkey, Izzy Slipper, first class, Laura Smith, first class. Maisie Spiteri. Charlotte Stibbs. Alicia Charlie Stretton. Olivia Judith Tatari. First class. Ella Joanne Taylor. Nicole Taylor. Jessica Louise Thelwell. <laughs> Alexandra Ella Thorpe. Mariana Undilep. <laughs> Hayley Wakefield. <laughs> Hayley Warwick. <laughs> Amy Jane Watts. Rachel Weaver, first class. <laughs> Lucy May Whitworth. <laughs> Katie Wilkins, first class. <laughs> Danielle Williams Minto. <laughs> Lauren Winrow. <laughs> Nicola Woolley. <laughs> Holly Louise Yates. FDA Sport and Fitness Studies. FDA Sports Management. Lauren Yates. Sportsman. University of Birmingham Awards, Amber Jo Ali Hardy. Sorry. Benedetto Maria Affia. Sorry. We go, um, Vice Chancellor and Principal. This completes the presentation of those diplomats and graduates in attendance. By, just, just, <laughs> Sorry. by the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor and Principal, I confer upon you the awards for which you were presented. And I admit to their degrees in absentia those students listed in the program who were unable to attend this congregation. Thank you.
Professor Armour, I call upon the Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Danielle Carey, to present to you the second group of University of Birmingham award holders. Professor Armour, to you and to the University, I present the names of these graduates as listed in my programme, both in attendance and in absentia, <coughs> proved worthy to be admitted to their respective degrees. Wycheck Simond Bienert. BA Honours Sports Management, Marina Denisova. Andre Edwards. Toby Faimi. Tigish Kanasan. Yannick Gomes. George Hobbs. Patrick Huber, Krish Karia, Alexandros Kililis, Gavin Kuna, first class, Veronica Kosikova, first class, Danielle Mars. Narvis Neal, Anissa Nowak, first class, Petra Akugu Bediako, Tyrell Richards White, Omar Shafi, Greg Ian Spooner, first class. Mark Walker, <laughs> Katie Wilkinson, first class, Nathan Wilson, BA Honours Sports Management with placements, Thomas James Simpson, <laughs> Diploma in Higher Education Sports Therapy. Kelly Burns, FDX, FDSC Sports Therapy, Luke Clark, Reese West Lynch, BSC Sports Therapy. First class, Jay Deegan, Karen Dingra Smith, first class, Sam. 
Samuel Francis Drake. Natalie Anna Rachel Evans. Bethany Louise Franklin. Ashley Fry, first class. Ryan James Goff. Christine Antoinette Graham, first class. Natalie Graf Blake. Luke Gray, first class. Matthew Greasley, first class. Victoria Guest. Emma Hickey, first class. Jack Hinks. Mohammed Hassim Iqbal. Alice Elizabeth James. Yura Yanko, first class. Sain Kumar Jethwa, first, sorry. <laughs> Ria Hoshana Kantaria, first class. Bilal Khan. Rebecca Love. Benjamin Lovewell, first class. Isabel Lucas, first class. Rebecca McNichol, first class. Rebecca Alice Moore, first class. Tinashi Musque. Harry Nichols. Victoria Onge. Megan Ormston, first class. Kimberly Adaze Asuju, first class. Hamoudi Ogman. Yash Patel. James Peddington. Michelle Denise Potter, first class. Gemma Rees. Hani Rimeki. Oliver Ricketts. Jake Rowe. Katie Louise Rudd, first class. Anupam Sandhu. Miles Strummel. Kristen Sibanda. Alicia Singh. Andrew Spate, first class. Charlotte Hannah Spencer. Alina Standovich, first class. Liam Stanley. Elizabeth Stringle. Hedrick Tamakivi, first class. Mohammed Ibrahim Tassadiq. Nithin John Tankachan. Christella Theodulu. Trey Thomas Johnson. Jessica May Timmins. Daisy Angelica Walker. Mohamed Wazim. Natalie Williams, first class. Rafiana Williams. Rodney Williams. Lauren Ann Withers.
Vice Chancellor and Principal, this draws to a close the formal proceedings. Wow, what else can I say after a ceremony like the one we've just had? I gather from all the screaming and the shouting and the selfies, you've had a good time. <laughs> would, would you agree with me that that ceremony was a fitting tribute to how well our students have done? You know, two things really struck me about that ceremony. The first one was when Bernie and Safi came onto the stage to receive the Memorial Awards. I don't know about you, I had tears in my eyes. What an inspiration you two ladies are to everyone in this auditorium. So again, well done. The the other thing that struck me is the number of first-class honours students that cross this stage. Now, for the parents and our guests, I want to make it very clear. Neither the University of Birmingham or UCB give away first-class honours degrees like confetti, unlike some institutions, but we won't go there. <laughs> so, those students who got first class honours, I can tell you, they have had to perform at such a high level. So guys, girls, well done. So, parents, families, friends, good news, they've graduated. Your bank balances, your bank balances might finally start to replenish. I wouldn't count on that, by the way, all right? So I know just how important this day is for you. And to our students, I think you need to thank your parents for all of the support they've given you to enable you to get here, so come on. Now, you and I know there's another group of people. If it wasn't for their support, you wouldn't be sitting where you are today or you wouldn't be sitting with as good a classification as you've got today. And that's the staff of UCB. <laughs> now, I can tell you from the heart that you don't do the sort of job I do, you don't do the sort of job they do without occasions like this being at the really top of the calendar. To be able to share with you your success is fantastic for us. So now I'm going to give everyone else in the auditorium one last opportunity to collectively congratulate our graduates. I stand here coming towards the end of my career and I look at you and in some ways I'm really jealous. In other ways, looking at the state of the economy and Brexit, I'm not so jealous. But, you know, the opportunities that you have before you are probably far greater than the opportunities I had when I graduated all those many years ago. And we would really like you to keep in touch. We'd like you to look at page 10 of your brochure today at the Alumni Society. We'd like you to become members of the Alumni Society. We'd want you to tell us through the Society how you're doing as your careers progress. 
and also to keep in touch with some of the developments at the university. All right? And I have every confidence looking at you that we'll hear some fantastic stories in the years ahead. Now in a minute, I very sadly have to bring this occasion to a close. But I just want to point out to you that at the end, the formal ending of the congregation, we will be playing the national anthem. I will ask you to stand for the national anthem. And at the end of the anthem, the academic procession will leave the hall. And I'll ask you to remain uh, in your places until the procession has left. So, on a personal note, I now finally want to say to our graduates, I want to offer you my personal congratulations on what you've achieved today. Ladies and gentlemen, I declare this congregation closed.